Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have another sneak peek diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. This is a gorgeous kit and it is called Light of the Night by Jenny Lee. It's a square drill diamond painting. It is 65 by 91 centimeters and let's get into it. How are you all doing? Happy Friday. This kit is going to release tomorrow which is Saturday the 2nd of March. I can't believe it's March already. <laughs> Inside the box we have a toolkit. We have a sticker for the box or for a journal. And we have the painting and the drills inside here. So let's have a look real quick at the toolkit. This toolkit comes with tweezers and a drill pen. Some extra baggies. We have the drill tray. That comes with a pen grip here, two multi-placer tips, two plates of heart-shaped wax, we have a cover minder, and we have some beautiful washi tape. I really like this one. It's like lotus flowers. And this is a little stopper to keep those diamonds from falling out of the tray as you're diamond painting. So it's a really good starter toolkit. Nothing wrong with it. Just be careful with these tweezers. They are super duper sharp. And if they fall off the table without that sheath on them, you could get stabbed. And that's not fun. <laughs> so let's open this up and get to the canvas, see what it looks like. I saw this on Facebook and the rendering looks so good. I'm getting back into landscape. Pull those things out there. There's the kit, the canvas, the diamonds. Look at this. This is such a pretty palette. I really like those blues and greens. Look at those up close in a minute. But here we have our legend. It's a sticker sheet, so you can use this on your organizers. The original art is just so pretty. So, so pretty. I really like it. I imagine there is going to be some confetti up here but it's only a couple of colors. We only have 45 colors in this kit, and I think it's gonna make a big impact. We have three AB diamonds and one fairy dust diamond. And then this here is a little how to diamond paint and a thank you. It also tells you how to get into the VIP Facebook group. You have to have purchased a kit in order to get in, but definitely go over there. They are doing voting for kits. So you get to give your input on what you would like to see at, on their website. So if for some reason it's really not, you're not seeing kits that you like, I would highly suggest going over there, joining the group and voting on your favorite designs. Because the more people that vote, the more chance it is that it'll be produced. very pretty okay it is quite wide as you can imagine so at the top we have do what makes you sparkle and the legend look at that beautiful sky and you know that all of those white dots are ab's <laughs> then we come down a little bit and we've got mountains and this beautiful range and then so sorry, that has to go behind the radiator. <laughs> it is quite long. Come on. There we go. And at the bottom of it, you can see this gorgeous, gorgeous lake that's reflecting the sky. And we've got the two people in the boat with their lanterns here. Now, the thing is, is that the rendering of this is going to be a little bit blocky. It's going to be a little bit more abstract, a little less detailed than the original picture because it's so small. And the only way to get more detail would to be to make the painting bigger. And I think that would make it a little unmanageable. But for this size, I think that the, the overall idea of the picture is really, really good. It comes out very well. And I think it would be really enjoyable to diamond paint, truly. That is a lot of AB, y'all. That is a lot of AB. That's so pretty. 
That's so, so, so pretty. All right, let me show you the canvas real quick before we go further. So as you can see, this grid is really easy to read. The symbols are quite good and easy to read. A really good thing about this kit is that the arrows are very drastically different. So there's going to be no confusion with, you know, sometimes this symbol, for instance, there might be four of those and in different directions, and that can be a little confusing. But you can see here 3808 and 3844, 3845, they're all going in different directions and they are all looking different. So that's just a thumbs up for me. I really, I really like that. All right, let's get into the diamonds. You can skip ahead if you like to see where the specialty diamonds go, but I'm going to go through them all. We've got two bags of 311, two bags of 141. This is our first AB. And all of those stars. AB is Aurora Borealis. It's that iridescent coating on the top that shimmers. Very pretty. 310. One, two, three, four, five, six bags. <laughs> six bags. 955. And then we have our fairy dust diamond. This is Z772. And you can see it, hopefully. There is a light green shimmer on the top of these diamonds. 996, 958, there's two bags. 3844, also two. 807, there are three. Oh, it has my favorite blue. 796, there's two bags. And 995 is my favorite blue. So one, two, three, four, five bags of this electric blue. So pretty. We have two bags of 3843, 964, 3845, 823, 993, there's three bags. 3766, 122, another AB diamond. Very pretty. Love that color shift on the top. I wonder where that goes. 3866 and 120, there's two bags of this AB. Very pretty. We have 939, there's five bags. 564, excuse me, 312, 803, there's two bags, and 890. And our last strip, 3756, 6000, 913, 336, 930, 828, 747, 3808, 948, 319, 912, 9, 597, uh, 169, 647, 3053, 30, sorry, I can't read today, 938, 744, 841, 3772, and 632. Nice. So we know for a fact that the white dots are the white ABs, and it's also here at the top of this mountain. So you can see it really reflecting uh, off of the sky there. Then we have symbols one and two. One is the uh, blue and two is the green. Uh, I'm looking here to see because I believe, yes, number one, we've got a lot of it here in between these colors here. Ones, ones up here in this kind of sky, this nebula of a sky. Two is a green and two is again in that in-between space just here. We've got twos. Oh, can you see? Sorry. My head keeps hitting this uh, thing. And I don't see twos just over here, but just right in here. And then let's see E is the fairy dust diamond. There's a lot of it here. It's all in this space here and over here. 
Are there any down below, I wonder? One, two, or E? No. So they are just in the sky portion, not in the lake portion. That's so pretty. Now this canvas does also have the perforated sheets on it. The plastic is perforated so that you can cut sections or tear sections away on your diamond painting uh, instead of having to use washi tape or release papers. But it's up to you. I am a release paper girly. <laughs> I really like them. Uh, and I think that they are great for trying to um, keep yourself from being overwhelmed by the image. But I know not everybody likes that. So that's perfectly fine. What do you think about this painting? I think it's gorgeous. I really do. Um, I think it would be a challenge to, to complete, but a fun one. Because you're only working with so many colors in a, in a section. The confetti will be manageable. I would highly recommend this for my friends who love single placing. <laughs> if you're a multi-placer, this might be a nightmare, but a single placer, this is a dream. So let me know what you think down below. Let me know if this isn't the one, which one are you looking at for this weekend? I would love to know. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all very soon for my next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.